Hello everybody. Um, right, okay, I have been asked, um, yeah, basically to um, um, to show um, uh, one of the guys on the um, um, the Facebook group that I run, uh, Keys and Fans, um, we were talking about audio files and, and that and playing along with them and uh, um, so um, and he was sort of saying about the song side of it and I said oh I said what I always do is I use anything like that in my multi pads now um, the reason I ever use use them is because I compose relaxation and meditation music so I quite often use it for background sounds when I'm actually playing but I'm going to show you um, how to basically do 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 the same but by using an audio track so so the audio track I'm using um, it doesn't actually have any vocals but it's beyond the sea and uh, so but it's it's an instrumental version of it so now first and foremost let's check and so if I press song A and then I go to oops I need my um, so and then I go to user and uh, um, beyond the sea so you can see beyond the sea is there and and, and I'm going to press that okay so there's there's the song so you can actually see it and uh, so it's in the actual in in the song now if I just press play you can hear it okay so that's the actual audio audio track but the way to put it onto a, a multi pad is if I press menu and so normally it comes up on menu one okay now so you've got to go to menu two and on the top top line you'll find at the end m dot pad creator now that's the multi pad creator so if I press that one and it will come up and it's got two selections you've got multi pad midi multi pad recording or audio link multi pad well it's the audio link i want so i just touch it on the screen now a box comes up and it does explain to me that audio data cannot be linked with a midi midi multi pad so it will only be audio and do i want to create yes i do so i press ok and the four multi pad boxes come up so i will select number one by touching the box and then i'm going to go to user now i've got the song and beyond the sea there we go so beyond the sea so that is now in my multi pads and i can see that because number one is flashing orange so okay and so um okay save it and save it there uh, save here um, all in there now i'm also going to because i'm going to play along with it with the actual multi pad um so what i'm going to do is i've i've selected a free play style so that way it's not going to have the drums in the way and uh, so i've got the flugel horn up first so now the way i always do it is because you want to sync start over here so you don't have to use your hands all the time I'm going to press the select or sync start button and the number one at the same time. And that's it. So it's doing it two together and I always get it slightly slow. So there we go. So it's all, it's ready and waiting. It's all flashing. And uh, so, right, okay. So I will hit record. <laughs>
different. So that's basically how I actually, um, so that's, that's how I actually do it. So I can record it in that way. Now, um, so give it a go because I find it so much simpler, as I said, when I'm using, using the, uh, the, the multi pad. So if I wanted to do one of my relaxation pieces, um, so I could, um, right, okay, let's have a look and see what I've got here. Um, uh, okay. Um, um, well, waves, okay, so waves. Um, oh, oh, is that what I wanted? User, right, there we go. So, uh, sound effects. Okay, so let's have a listen and see what that is. So there we go, so we, that's, that's some, <coughs> oh, that's some, so that's the, the wave. So, so if I, I try number two and you can see, okay, so if I set up a, um, uh, let's go to um, Metro Pop and fr free play 80s chill out since sound. <laughs> see how, how how it comes in really really handy so if you're doing anything like that you can get sound effects and it's so easy to get you just basically record record it and and uh, or, or get them off you can certainly get them on the internet and stuff like that um and then put them in your in in basically in in the machine and stick them in your multi pads and then you've got the best of all worlds so so there we go so that is how to basically do a um do a, a an audio and uh, um, on the actual um on the multi pads okay hope that helps give it a go bye for now <laughs>